We might have those herbs if we have to have them. Oh my god, this guy has a chainsaw? What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to Home Behind. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. So, um, I want to say, maybe if I play my cards out right here today, this could be the final episode for this run. So if you're enjoying it, would like to see a different run with a different class, maybe even a personal challenge, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. By what I mean about personal challenge, somebody in the last video mentioned to me, Falcon, do a run where you kill every human. Good, bad, doesn't matter. Fight every single human, see how far you can make it, if you can make it to the end. I doubt I'd make it to the end fighting every single fight out there, but I guess it's a pretty cool little challenge. If you guys have your own personal challenge as well, and would like to see them, let me know in the comments. It could be kind of a cool little thing for us to do, if you want to see some more, that is, anyway. Otherwise, for now, we'll just go forward, but I hope you guys are enjoying it, at least for the meantime. Um, we have a pretty decent lead in the Rebels. We're about to hit the next camp, or at least next objective point over. I'm worried about my HP being so low, and we are apparently getting quite thirsty, and we don't have any more water, unfortunately, as well. Is there anything we can craft here at the moment? Let's see here. I can make some clothing. What about any clothing for defenses? Hey! If we make two ropes, we can make uh, a shirt. Can I make rope? I definitely can. Yeah, it requires the dry grass, which we have quite a few of them, actually. So let's craft those, and we have our, our first very shirt. How about that? Equip that. Very cool. That'll help us hopefully survive longer. What about this hat over here? This requires clothing, which we could have made with the rags, but I think it's probably best to get the shirt first, and then we require the, the hat, which we do have. So this isn't really too hard to make as long as we get two more pieces of rags. Alrighty. That's not too bad. Weapons, unfortunately, we're still rolling with the dagger. Until we could find some razors, a lot of this is going to be impossible. Razors or metals is what we kind of need for this, and unfortunately, we just haven't had any luck finding those things. Rag here, razor here, and a stone here. This one isn't too bad to make either. But again, we gotta find some of that stuff they're asking for. Um, alrighty, well, we're kind of at the weight limit as well. Let's see about cooking some food. I don't think we have to cook it, but I might as well just have it ready to go. Potato and a couple of sardines here too. How's our food at? 88. You'll probably eat a potato. That weighs two, so that'll bring us up to 68 of 70. That's not too bad. Alrighty. Let's, um... I almost kind of want to rest somewhere. Oh, this is a new spot. Are you a newcomer? You're more than welcome to join our ranks. What do you mean, you join your ranks? Can I come in here somewhere? No? Banan, you are apparently the leader of this refugee camp. Let's start off by doing some begging as usual. Maybe I'll get some water. I got some french fries and a steak! <laughs> How about that? Another steak! I would like some water, but do you offer any water? My knife for rice? No, that's a bad trade for me. Let's talk to her. Hello, I'm guessing you're on your way to Europe. Are you a simple traveler or... That's right, and I don't think myself as a refugee. I'm trying to locate what's left of my family. A man carrying a young girl in red. They should have passed heading northwest on the route to Sarda. If you have seen them, please tell me. The man is my brother and the girl is my daughter. Hmm. I think we saw two travelers fitting. This description passed through here several days ago, although the man was dressed in gray. He had quite the somber look on his face. The girl in red would not stop crying. When they passed through, the fighting was not as intense as it is now. If I remember correctly, they were able to hitch a ride. Unsurprisingly, their plan was to travel towards Sarda, then travel along the Ziki jungle into the entrance to Eastern Europe. Thank you, thank you. If that's the case, I must hurry towards Sarda at once. If all goes well, I may be able to meet them there. No, no, that won't do. If you came a few days earlier, I would say that you should leave at once. However, there are reports that Sarda has been consumed by fire. Just two days ago, the rebels began attacking the city and the resistance army head on. Sarda has been reduced to ashes. It's hell there. No place is safe there. Then what should I do? Is there another way to get around Sarda? You could join us. Although we will move more slowly, you will have any and all the help you need. We will pass by the outskirts, avoiding the city at all costs. Go around Sarda? That could increase the trip by at least 10 days. I may also lose to my family's trail. I understand, but you know... But you must know that heading directly into a war zone is an extremely rash decision. I do understand, I can tell from your eyes, that you are determined to find them at all costs. I have some extra supplies here. I hope they will provide you with some assistance in an emergency. Thank you, but I still have a long way to go. You and your followers need these supplies more than I do. I can't accept them. I also have a son. I understand. I would do anything for him. Please take them. If not for yourself, then take them for your daughter. She must not lose her father. Thank you. If I have a chance, I will return. For now, I move on. Well, well, hey, with any luck, we may meet again on the road. What did she give me? She gave me a ton of stuff, man. This lady was very nice. 
Thank you, Benan. I'm very overweight now, though, unfortunately. No water, but I have a soda. I got some milk as well. Okay, that's not bad. I don't like getting rid of food, but so be it. Alrighty. Can I rest here by any chance? I would love some medication as well, because our HP is still... Oh, Christ! Two bandits in a row? Well, we gotta fight them, I guess. Drop your weapon and prepare to die. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that, my friend. So I will go into maybe a balanced attack on this fella. And let's go into a rage immediately. What really sucks about this is I'm trying to like conserve some energy going forward. And now we got this fight and we have another one over here waiting for us as well. So I'm, I'm pretty salty about this. This guy wasn't too bad though, luckily. Oh, he gave me some herbs though to heal up. Nice. One more and we can make the stronger version too. Okay. Everything about us right now is pretty good, so we might as well fight him now that we're very strong. Let's go into a balanced attack again. We're about to rage up. Do it. There you go. These guys aren't too bad, really, huh? I mean, they've done a number together after a while, sure, but... Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, he's down now. 70 is 7. Let's have that. I feel like we should probably get a little bit of rest here to get some energy back. Got some energy back. The rebels are really kind of gaining on us, so maybe we should just walk, not run for now. Oh, thank God, it could be water. It looks very dirty and everything, but it doesn't really matter, dude, at this point. Yes! I don't care if it gives me diarrhea. Let's go ahead and refill the water. Dirty water. Uh, can we turn dirty water into clean water? I think we can, but we need a special item for it if I'm right. Let's see here. Let's see. Both of the water should be filthy, but if we come over to here. We need all oh, the herbs, which I'm hoping to actually use them for my HP instead. So, no, I wouldn't do it anyway. I would not do it. Um, drinking this alone gives me negative 15 mood. It's not going to restore too much um, water, but it's something. You know what? I think we have to do it, man. Diarrhea be damned. <sighs> Did it give me diarrhea? I got stench, but no diarrhea. Eh, okay. Refill water. We'll just drink it off of the thing. Maybe this avoids diarrhea. Not really good for the mood, but otherwise, that'll do. Drink, one, uh, refill one more. Let's salvage and we get out of here. Rebels are getting kind of close. We failed on the salvage. Try it again. Come on, buddy. 65% is a pretty good odd. We got a little fishy, but we're overweight again. No surprise. Are we starving? Not really, but I'll have... This, let's get rid of this flower. Our mood is actually quite low because of all the bad water we drank. So let's have the choco. I'm in love with the choco, choco. Let's actually get some running here done as well. Actually, are we still overweight? No, we're not. Oh, it's the sandstorm. Correct, correct. Forgot all about that. Ah, oh, should I pick you up? We're having an issue with weight, but sure, I guess it will. Hey, another water one. How about that? Well... Hey, how about we drink this now? We refill. And we salvage for some items again, hopefully. Something good. Something very good would be nice. We fail the first one. Our morale is very, very low now, unfortunately. We succeeded with that one. Our morale is very bad. Very, very bad now. Not too happy about that. Okay, just keep walking. Her HP isn't looking too great either. We're having issues everywhere. The rubbles are still kind of far off. Stench, mood recovery, that's what's really doing us right now. The spare experience and rage is down. I feel like getting a little bit of rest here if we can. It's kind of chilling. Fuck. Have a little bit of rest here. Jack will go away, goddammit. Let's have another rest. Sure, I guess we'll give it a try. Morale, experience, and rage buildup is low. Rebels are getting very close, Falcon. What's happening here? Blind? Shit. Go away. Come on, come on. Go away, blind. Mood is at 21. Let's have ourselves... Another meal. And it's gone now. Okay, let's give this a try. Is there any way to get around these fights, or do you always have to fight him? Like, it seems like even if I rest, he still hangs out there the entire time. We'll go into a balanced attack. Start off with a rage. I hit spacebar, but I guess I didn't. Odd. Come on. Please don't do such a big number on me, you fucker. I need some HP for the coming fights more than likely. Come on. No, come on. Don't let them combo you. 
Ah, oh, that was too much damage than I really wanted to take. More dryness. Oh, we might make an, uh, an herb finally, though. Got some wood. Uh, let's make... Where's it at? Yo, yo, we should be able to make it right now. Don't, don't fuck with me, game. Hey. I know... Really? Am I wrong about this? Herbal pound? Oh, it's three of them! Fuck! I think we could use it now. Oh! Oh, this guy crapped up on me! Jeez, it scared the shit out of me, dude! It scared the piss out of me. Uh, go into the fight, I guess. It's unfortunate. I was hoping we'd heal up first, but... Didn't even spot him walking over to me. Oh, look at my HP, guys. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, buddy. You gotta, you gotta get this kill, dude. Come on, come on. Don't fuck with me now. Oh boy, we're very hurt. We are absolutely screwed up here. All right, should we take a rest? I think we gotta take a rest here, don't we? I know the the rebels are kind of right behind me, but oh, there's a town. Oh Jesus, come on! Get some rest. I have to get in fight. I'm involved with this fucker now. Agility, let's go. Luckily, we're up to like 90. Come on, buddy. We're gonna have to start running pretty soon, by the way. Come on. Come on. No, don't combo. We're down to 62 again. It's annoying. Uh, let's jump in. What's in here? Alright, stuff for us to check out. Oh, we could refill water? Is this good water or bad water? Let's find out. Good water or bad water? It's bad water. Okay. So we're not going to drink anymore. Search. Failed. What is that back here? Oh, we just pick up. Oh, just more rice. Whatever. Have some of this rice. Never seem to be able to cook it anyway. Search the cabinet. Failed. Is that more rice? I would love it to be an herbal flower, or like the herbal powder, but I doubt that's what it is. Oh, god damn it, we have another fight. I'm not gonna fight this dude. That's just water here. Is this clean water, I wonder? Because if that's clean water, I'll have it now. Hey, we have ourselves some bread. Let's have this first and foremost. Uh, no, we don't need that now. We're at 69 of 70. Dogman, can we, like, not fight? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't want this. I just want... Is this clean water? I'm gonna leave. That dog was getting way too close, and I can't really risk another fight here at the moment. We're still kind of ahead of the rebels here to some degree. My mor my mood is going down. It's because it's nighttime. Hey! You I do need, though. You come along. Come on, HP. I'm thinking maybe for a future run, we focus a little bit more on the HP. Maybe some more fitness points. Maybe go... Strength and fitness. Just be a very strong dude. With a lot of HP. Just hit like a ton of bricks. Oh god. Fight this fucker. We're almost to our destiny. Oh, come on, dog. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just trying to recuperate a little bit before we can fight him. Because we're well ahead of the rebels here for now. Let's keep, keep resting it up. Alright, there we go. We're at 123 of 130 HP. This looks a lot better. A little bit thirsty. Let me have some food here really quickly. So we get that boost to the food. As a matter of fact, let's boost up completely. I can have more of this bullshit rice. Have some of this, and there you go. Full belly and everything. Damage and move speed is up. Very nice. Let's go into a balanced attack again. Fuck this guy up, huh? Fuck him up. You, you, you're looking very good right now, man. Come on. Rage up as well. Rage against the machine, or rage against the puppy, or the wolf, whatever he is. There you go. Good attack. Don't let him combo you. Don't let him combo you. There you go. He leveled up as well. Good. Let's go into... Man, let me get some more HP, as I mentioned. I think that could be very useful. Any new skills for us? No, not until level 12, it seems. All right. I doubt we'll be getting to that point. All righty. Pretty good. What the hell? Oh, dude, it's one of those challenges, isn't it? Pass through 65%. Detour. A lot of water and food loss. It's going to make me very thirsty, and unfortunately, I have, like, bad water. Let's try this one. Come on. Yes! We did it! He, he even yelled in Chinese. That's how happy he was. It's a hyena here. Let's rest a little bit. Hyena, go away. Go away, hyena. He's coming at me. Alright, it's fine. 
We are pretty decent with the HP now, I gotta say, and we're almost to our final spot. Is it the last destination? I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, man. No rage? No rage? I guess no rage. There we go. Too late, maybe, huh? Eh, whatever. Not overweight, we're just being slowed down by the sandstorm. Oh, we have one of those little areas we could rest at. Ooh! Is that the second rag? Or is the first one? It's the first one again, because we made the shirt. So we need another one to make some clothing to make the other upgrade. Alrighty. Is there, like, anything we can make now that we got that piece of wood, I wonder? Doubtful, but... No. Nah. Well. Let's kick this meat while we're at it, since we're here. And... Have a sardine here to cook as well. There we go. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortable we'll get to the last spot before the rebels catch up. That much is um, very well known. Mood plus plus. Where my mood's already at 100, percent so we don't even need that. Let's see if we can search anything here. Good. Nope. Nope. Tear apart. Dry grass, and let's do the visit for the mood boost again. And there is another herbal here, so... Oh! We can make some powder. There's a dead body, too. We can make some powder now, guys. We also curate our water. We're actually quite thirsty. Maybe it's best... Our HP's looking alright, though, isn't it? No, no, you know what? I have some dirty water if we have to. I'll take the mood hits. I think we should probably get some backup restorations just in case. Yeah. Alrighty. We're getting thirsty, but we have the rotten water. Or dirty water. Refugee corpse. Dig him. Bury him for the mood upgrade. Uh, or cut him for some food. I don't think I need food off of him, so we're fine. Let's see if we can just dig him. Or dig around him for some items. We got some dry grass. Got a potato. Let's bury him for the mood boost now. Ooh. Another one of those. Very nice. Like, I want to have a lot of these, because if we have to get involved in some crazy fight, I'd rather have some heal items on the fly. Um, let's see, what else do we... Oh, we're just thirsty. I should have probably drank the water and then done the, the plus mood boost itself, huh? Yeah. That's fine, we still have coffee for a 15 mood at least. As a matter of fact, let's have that now. There you go. We're looking alright. We have mercy as well. That boost that we got from the statue back there. And here should be coming up with our last spot. Oh, fudge. Herbs. Dry grass. These people are killing refugees, it does seem. Fight against fight against fight, it does seem. Oh, boy. Ooh. Alrighty. These guys aren't weak, by the way. They're actually, like, normal now. So this could be problematic for us. Especially if we have to fight three of them. Back to back to back. Okay, we didn't lose too much HP here, so far. But once they start doing the combos, that's when it gets really scary. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's down. Let's have ourselves a heal if we can. And before we get into a fight, let's have some food. Get some boost from that. Okay, next one. So with the full food we have, moves more damage as well, which is great. Come on. We're doing all right. I'll be honest with you. I think I saved this rage for the next guy, actually. Yeah, we definitely saved it. Hey, we got, like, some wildfires or something off of him. And some rags, too. Excellent. Balance attack. Rage, come on. There it is. No, 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 no. Keep, keep at it. Keep at it. We're doing so good right now. Don't get comboed. We're down to 80, but considering it's three fights back to back to back, I think it's pretty good so far. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, no, no. Come on. Don't start losing it now. Oh, we got a blade, which we need for weapons. I don't think we can make anything right now, but what is this? 20 food biscuits is what we got. Roasted insect. Mm. Let's get rid of the rotten junk. Five of those. Don't eat those at all. Okay. We might have those herbs if we have to have them. Oh my god, this guy has a chainsaw! Alright, let's rest here a bit if we can. Mm-hmm. A strangely dressed man has adorned himself with an excessive amount of jewelry. Strangely, most of the jewelry is stained with blood. Yeah, I wonder why. Hey, you. You are the third, fourth, fifth, sixth? It makes no difference. What valuables are you carrying? Nothing of value at all. I'm just a refugee and I need to pass through here. If you want to pass through, I'll require an item. Or two or three. Surprise, I'm abandoned. Don't you already have enough? Why must you continue stealing and killing? No, no, no. These things, this gold chain, 
They're all useless. What I want is food, water, the most valuable than anything else. This clothing is just to cover my real identity. Useless decoration. You are the strangest bandit I've ever seen, though you seem to have thought this through quite well. A philosopher, perhaps. Is that so? I'm not really arrogant enough. My brain, my logic is quite chaotic. Living in these conditions equates us to insects, easily squashed, easily forgotten in an instant. You see me? I used to dig wells for my poverty-stricken village in the desert. Can you tell? Perhaps only my muscles show the manual labor I had to put up with back home. Sometimes I do feel a bit nostalgic, it's true. To guess the locations of water, and then dig, 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 dig. If I found water, then the villagers would be happy, and I could afford to eat again. But then, the well would dry up again, and I'd have to go out looking for once more. Repeat over and over. Then one day, all the wells in the village dried up. Everyone is panicking. I dug and I dug. Ten wells in a row, and not a single one had water. Without water, the villagers went crazy. Some even thought God himself was passing judgment on us. Couldn't they, couldn't they stay calm? Have you ever been so thirsty you could die at any moment? They stole my clothes and threw me in the desert to die. Are you talking about Johnny Village? The well digger that was thrown in the desert? That was you? You survived. That's no easy feat, and now you've become a bandit. Back then, I was not so clever, nor was I motivated by hate. I hate those villagers. They weren't willing to move, and instead placed all responsibility on one well digger. I drank cactus juice, ate camel shit, and then found the edge of the desert. And in the end, I was homeless. I had to become a beggar in the first city I stumbled upon. The life of a beggar is surprisingly relaxing. Extend a hand, tell a sad story, and suddenly you've got money. Digging wells was exhausting, and the money I made was insignificant. But now I was in the city, watching rich kids drive in their sports cars. They used imported mineral water to fill their pools and swam in them with beautiful women from all over the world. I wasn't even envious, just perplexed. And then I thought to myself, why? Why do I want to live like this? I even began to pity the old villagers. They would sell their souls for even just one bottle of dirty water. Truly pathetic. You see, those villagers weren't crazy. This world is crazy. From an early age, we are thought that all men are equal. I've always looked for the true meaning in these words. Until one day, I built up the courage and killed a fat, rich merchant in a dark alley. Then my blade entered his belly and he screamed out for help. I finally understood. Only in the moment of death are all men equal. It seems that killing has a twisted special meaning for you. This is the meaning of life, don't you see? Murderers, bandits, where do they come from? It's because of the rich and powerful. They're afraid of losing everything. Because they are so attached to a luxurious lifestyle and fancy things, they will use the law and any means necessary to keep themselves rich. When they die, however, they have nothing, and that is equality. It seems like you really thought through this. Clever, isn't it? War is upon us and the world is a mess. Now me and my team are wrecking havoc in the desert when no one to stop us. Perhaps in a few days I will lead my brothers in an attack on Sarda. I must carry out my philosophy in life and I'm going to truly believe in it. Only then, when I achieve what I have set out to accomplish, will I become a true man. By what I mean, I intend to live on equal footing with the rest of humanity. I'm not looking for therapy here. It's just not that none of my brothers understand what I'm talking about. The only thing they think about is money, liquor, women. But I hope, I hope you don't think of me to be on the same level as them. Hand over your items and I'll make sure you die quickly. You think I have anything to give you? How about some dry grass, some stones? I collected a lot of them on my journey here. I figured they'd be useful. That would be a pity. Or should we blow instead? Fight me. Alrighty, so we do gotta fight him, obviously. No surprise there. Uh, let's go into a balanced style and fight. Oh, good. That's a lot of fucking damage he does to me, huh? Oh, this accuracy thing could hurt us. Come on, man. We're, we're not just doing too much damage is the problem here. Our damage is so low compared to what he's doing to us. We're kind of like on evil, equal footing. Let me have this herb now. Alrighty. The, the the negative debuff that we had is gone, which could help us out here. Hey, we're, we're kind of, kind of coming back, but the moment he starts comboing, that's when it really hurts. Come on, dude. We're so close. We're so close. We lost it, guys. God, did you see how much HP he had left? Fuck! Did you see how much HP he had left? God dang! Had we waited till daytime, I think we could have probably beat him. That sucks. I think we could have probably beat him in daytime. Because the moment the, day, the, the debuff left for the nighttime, we started hitting more shots continuously. Damn! Oh boy. Well, there you guys have it. If you want to see some more, do let me know in the comments. I will catch you next time.